been brought to you by TTM Troy. Uh, he literally wrote the book on uh, autograph collecting secrets. Uh, so let's get into what I got today. Um, I just picked up some of these stamps um, a day or two ago. These really awesome uh, first moon landing stamps. I've actually used some of them. I'm actually used use one or two of these to send off for the uh, official cancels um, from Florida. I haven't done that yet. I got a few envelopes with some of the older stamps on it that I will be doing that. Um, but I have a message from Troy and he sent me a little packet here which I've opened but not looked at. Uh, so one of these little bubble mailers. Hi Henry, not sure if you like these cards or not but thought I'd send them you to you just in case, Troy. So another autograph for the PC. Um, I won't be getting that uh, graded anytime soon. Uh, probably this will come back authentic, um, and then it'll. Um, but this is what he sent in this little packet here, with a blue painter's tape. Thank you. Ah, I don't know what it could be or what they are. Oh, there's some mini cards maybe. Oh, whoa, whoa, dude. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, dude. I don't know where he got these. If he picked them up at National, or he just had them laying around, or bought them in a collection. I think I know what he's looking at. I think I know what I'm looking at, kind of. i got to be careful here. I think these are old. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay. Well, they're not that old. Oops, this one has got a dinged corner. I think I just did that. Max Scherzer, Fortune Teller. I actually have pages for these, but not that... I mean, for these smaller ones here. There we go. And I don't have pages for... The, I don't know who makes a page for that. Uh, thanks, Tops. Tops, yes, Tops, Gypsy Queen, Max Scherzer. Okay, well, okay, so that one, uh, now I know about these. Okay, uh, uh, let's, let's see. I got, I'll see if I have any of these. Indigenous Heroes, I have an Alan Ginter binder, a uh, special one from 2014. It came with a few bonus cards that you can get them on Amazon. I think still fairly cheap, so if you need any kind of Alan and Ginter binder, doesn't matter what year it is, these have that kind of fancy border there. Um, what do we got here? Uh, batting gloves. I don't know that one. Well, I don't know what year are these, because I sure don't have any of these. I haven't found one yet that I have. What is this, a cornhole? No, I do not have that one. Um, we have speed stacking. Speed stacking? Okay. I guess that's a thing. Corey Calhoun? Wait. Cole Calhoun? Willie Calhoun. Corey Calhoun. Um... Uh, Tame, Thames, they, Eric Thames? Yeah, Eric Thames, Thames. Uh, and Juan and Carcionon. Is it Juan? Edwin. I am just, um, uh, Mookie Betts. Place your bets. Uh, Peter Alonzo? Yonder! What is my problem here? L John Lester. Clayton Kershaw. Felix Hernandez. Alex Verdugo, Sean Little, Sean Doolittle, uh, Nicky Del Monaco. I knew almost all of those. Was this uh, um, uh, Martinez? Martinez, the guy that retired. Pedro. I think he retired. And Kane, Matt Kane, Lorenzo Kane. I don't. I'm not thinking of the wrong players. Anyway, that's fun stuff there. I ha I do have pages for these from BCW. Um. Okay, so now I can show you what I got today. I got quite a bit of stuff. I'll show you the postcards I picked up. Maybe I'll show you the ones that came in the mail first. I got this one. Neat Alaska postcard there. Two bears fighting it off. And this is from uh, Sleet. Some, I can't read it. I, uh, it's, it's somewhere in Alaska, so that's neat. And then I got uh, Ileana, Alaska. And then on another... Bears postcard, so that was cool. Okay, those cards from Troy took me forever to go through those, but I have to go through every single one. Um, I picked up some old time pictures and postcards today. There might be another postcard mixed in here somewhere. Okay, we'll get through those. Okay, so I got greetings from Washington. This is from one of my favorite stores, one of my two favorite stores, Antique Shop in Salem, and that was a quarter. This one is the Pacific Ocean, so I'll send that off to somewhere. This is an amazing George Washington postcard. Uh, this is in memory of the birthday of Washington. This is probably from something like 1909 or something. And the better 
part of it is not even used. That's awesome. And if there's some sort of postcard grading service, that'd be pretty awesome to have that one in a slab. This one says, uh, I'll leave that. There's one I'm saving for a friend, so I don't want to spoil it. Uh, this one says a picnic for two. It's kind of a neat one. And this is dated 19 -0. Oh, it isn't. Um, 1918, 1913, something like that. Out of Everett, Washington. This one here is cold bottles with fine birds. And this one was also a quarter. It was in somebody's album. It looks like it got some rips on it. Out of Corvallis, Oregon. From 1911, something like that. It's very faint. Um, we have our trip, our vacation. We started out with a vim and plenty of loot, but when we finished up, not only got broke, but poofed, pooped. So there we go. That's cool. Not used. Cape Foulweather, Lighthouse, Oregon. That's a very, very old one. Uh, we got Grand Avenue, Grand Drive, Forest Park. Uh, Grand Avenue is the cartoon. Um, Grand uh, St. Louis, Missouri. And this one is from, but it's got a neat cancel. It says, let's uh, go citizens military training camps. So that's kind of neat there. Um, this one is Gay 90's restaurant and smorgasbord. South Tacoma, Washington. You would have thought that was in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Anyway, that's, that's interesting there. It's not there anymore. And then I got a 3D lenticular, I don't know, uh, sport flicks type of uh, postcard. It does move a little bit. The bird moves a little bit. Anyway, that was a quarter for that. It's really kind of flimsy. Um, this one is... Uh, I'll leave that because that, for political reasons. Uh, this one says, Me Worry. That's really old. And that was 50 cents for that one. They had another one. I should have grabbed it. And this one is out of Western Stationery Company, Yahats, Oregon. That's old. This is old. I mean, that could be 70 years old. That's neat. Um... And then we got an airplane view of Golden Gate Park, 1923. So that was, I was just making even $6 there. And then this is just some, a dude uh, from locally. That was two bucks for that one. It's got a kind of very de delicate frame, a decorative frame. And I was going to, um, uh, it's got a name on the back there. I can't read, read it in pencil there. Um, I was going to research that and see if that was some somebody from the area here. Now what you wanted to see were the card pickups from the card shop. I hit the 10 cent bin. I did not have a lot of time and I had, um, let's put it this way. If you ever go to the new hobby, it's a nice card shop, but a lot of stuff isn't priced or marked yet. He just got it in or if it's eBay or whatever and you don't know what you're looking at. And so I just had to go to the 10 cent boxes because that was the only thing that was priced. The 20 cent, 25 cent box was either in another room or just wasn't there anymore. And I did finally find a dollar box. We'll get to those in a minute here. Um, so I bought um, a bunch of more of those all sport packs. Maybe I'll open them up in a different video. I also bought a, a pro debut uh, 24, uh, 2019. So I'm going to open that right now. And uh, he had those on the uh, counter there. I know nothing about these. I said I wasn't going to buy any 2019. But we'll just see what we have here. It felt like a good pack, but it looks like I got nothing. So, Jeremiah Jackson, Jimenez, Green, Ruiz, May, Cancel, Carter Keyboom, that's probably the best one there, maybe, and uh, Braxton Ashcraft. Didn't do so hot there. Um, they said there were two. I'm sure that the relics and the autographs were already pulled from that box. I, it, they just got to be. I mean, they were just laying out there, so somebody probably already did. There were two relics and two autographs per box. That's about a pretty good chance of getting something. Um, then more 10 cent pickups. These were like, I don't know if they have high numbers or these are SPs, but a lot of these numbers were in the 400s. And I don't have very many from the 400s. This one I didn't remember having Chris Davis. This is number 230. Uh, for my 2019, uh, I'm building that set. And then I got a bunch of these. Um, there's the Elvis and Nixon. And then a bunch of these. I didn't have a lot of those. And then I got some rookies. I'm not sure if I had too many of those. It looked like he had a lot of cards that I needed, but I didn't have the binder or even realize that they were in there. And you see, I did not have this Joe Torre card. Hank Aaron, those were all 10 cents for each one of those. So, I mean, that's awesome to get all of those for my set. Uh, so there's those, and then we'll get to the dollar pickups, which are not very many. 
Um, let's see how long this is going to be. Um, so, I might open those packs so we don't have to do it all over again. Another video. Um, so I got four cards. One, two, three. There should be a fourth one here. One, two, three. There's an autograph that I got. Well, darn if I've misplaced the autograph. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here it is. Well, it's nobody I ever heard of, and this is one of the few autographs he had in the dollar box. This is out of Valiant. I don't know what year it is, but it looks quite old. This is number 6899, Sean Nigelli. Uh but it was on-card autograph, and it was numbered, and I figured I could use that for something later on. Give that to somebody or do something with it. I don't know who he is or what he did, but it was probably not much. Um, I'm not sure if I have Art Hunter. I'm not up on my Hall of Famers. If he's a Hall of Famer, I don't know. Um, 59 tops, I believe, and I need that for the set. Um, we have this really wonderful Barry Bonds, the Naturals. I don't know how rare that is, if that's a variation, what the heck that is, but that was a dollar for that one. Oh, sorry, just throw things around. And then I got CJ Procise on the uh, Seahawks. Don't know anything about him. It's a Panini product, so you know it's got to be good. And this is a um, Tools of the Trade. I was the fool for buying it. I don't think it's even worth a dollar. But this guy is wearing a towel right on his shoulders right there. And this is a photo shoot towel with a little piece of stuff on it. I mean, um, should be called Towels of the Trade. I mean, a uh, good thing he didn't wipe his nose or something with it. I have no idea. But I said, hey, dude, wear this stupid towel, this camo towel. And then we'll just make cards out of it. This is not even numbered. But seeing how big of a, uh, that's probably about, how big is that towel? There could be a hundred pieces of the towel. I'm serious. It's, they should have just numbered it to a hundred. Or 99 or something like that. Um, but anyway, towels of the trade, worthless card. And Put that is, and um, interesting stuff there, interesting postcards. Uh, um, it's just too crazy. Thank you, Troy, for those little cards. Uh, it's nice because that binder material will go directly in a binder that actually has pages. And so thank you for watching. and. Uh